Hello and welcome everyone, I'm Amethyst Roomwitch and today I'm going to talk to you about things that you can put on your altar but not just on an altar that is prominent within your home because if you're not out of the broom closet as it were then it can feel a bit harder to you know have things that could technically be an altar if you're living with people who are fully against it or just don't really know what it's about so i've got a collection of items with me that some have come from my altar so i've sort of taken my deconstructed my altar um but it needs a bit of a change so that's fine um and i've also got some things that you can put onto your altar if you want to put it on if you feel that your altar needs these items put them on you don't have to put everything on you can you know change it every six weeks for the sabbaths or you can you know change it once a month have a monthly one you know you could change it every full moon a new moon so that's every two weeks it's completely up to you your altar is personal to you there's no right or wrong way for putting things on an altar. Now your altar can be anything from a side table, a small sort of bedside table, the top of one of those. You can have a full sized sort of mini coffee table, which I have. Um, I'm just gonna move that over there and pick you guys up. See that table there, that's my altar. That's where my altar currently lives. It will be getting moved into my living room at some stage this year so you know i've got so i have an altar cloth on mine i always have it this way it does need a bit of a wash so i've had it for a while now and i've had it up and because i've got a black cat there's lots of black fur on it so if it looks a bit dodgy in places blame him it's loki blame him he's the reason but I, I love this because it's got the pentacle, it's Celtic-y, you know, it's, it's all things that I love, all things that I absolutely love. And there are claw marks in the top, so all the little holes. And in the bottom especially, because they like to try and, uh, in the corners. But this is a bit big for my altar, so I'm thinking of saving this for something else although I was using the four corners so in all the four corners there was a smaller pentacle so obviously you could use it to represent the four elements in the corners and then spirit in the center it's completely up to you I was doing things a little bit differently so I had one corner for um, air so I was putting my incense remains in there so slight um, ashy cloud there but that this is where I keep my incense remains because once I've collected enough I'm gonna make sure that it's as fine a dust as possible and then I'm gonna make black salt with it because I haven't yet made black salt and I really want to do it for myself just because I always think that if you do it yourself, it's always a little bit more powerful because it's got your energy behind it. So that's those. I do have, this is another um, altar cloth, which I have, that actually is small for the, that table, but it would fit. And I'd be able to, you know, potentially stop the damage to it. But again, I could put this on my wall. I could frame it and hang it on my wall. It's it's a suggested um, altar cloth. But I actually really like it. So I'm probably going to use this as my altar cloth once I've relocated it into my living room. Um, you can have like the representations of the different elements. So you can have, say, a cup or a chalice, a goblet, a small goblet, um, for water. I 
don't have a representation of um, water on my altar. Um, I'm not entirely sure why, I just don't. Um, but it's, again, what I want on my altar might not be what you want on your altar. All right. Trying to keep PG. Um, I do have a light purple candle. This, I haven't actually used it. And at some point I will. I just haven't felt I needed to use it. Um, but this can represent the element of air. You know, because it burns. Um, earth, I do have a representation of because I use crystals and obviously they come from the earth but i also have it's like the earth mother although i'm not a bel i'm not a follower of that idea but she sits on my altar with the holding the crystal so that's something else that was on my altar um another thing i have is a incense holder so I can have cones, but I can also have sticks. But it's also the triple moon. And that was what really drew me to acquire this. So I've, I've got a couple. Um, I've got one in my living room currently. Which I'm probably going to have to rethink what I'm doing with that. <laughs> but that's my incense holder. Um, you know, you can have things like slate. You know, you can have slate, um, almost like coasters that have different things on them. This one just happens to have the pentacle with lots of circles. And I don't use this on my altar, but it's a part, it, you know, you could use it. You know, I could use it as a, a thing for my candles. It's completely you know it's completely personal it all of these are just ideas and things that you can have um you can have like this for example this is a wooden etching it's wood and it's got an engraving of all the different all the all five elements and a pentacle so you've got the five pointed star and the circle but that this can be used to represent every element on your altar, but you don't have to use it. I haven't decided what I'm doing with it yet, but it's, again, it's a possibility. It's completely up to you what you want to do with it. Um, another thing is I got this recently. Lovely little pentacle altar decoration. I haven't put it on my altar. Um, I have yet to decide what I'm putting on my altar when it moves, but it has been sitting on my on the top of my desk because I absolutely love it. But yes, there is that as well. Um, I have a representation of cats on my altar, so there's this little uh, I don't know what it is. Could be wood. I'm not entirely sure. But it's a statuette of a cat because I have two cats and both of my familiars, um, which I will cover in a future post. Please don't worry about that. I will cover it. It's a bit of a controversial subject, so, you know, we'll see. We'll see about that. But um, I have those on. I have this on there because, you know, it's 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 for my cats. I can't not represent my cats when they're both a part of my of my journey. Um, I also have a miniature uh, bison or broom. So it, again, it's also got the pentacle and it's also got some rainbow fluorite or watermelon. It's a watermelon something or other possibly. But either way, it's got, it's a pretty thing. I got it really cheaply online. Um, you know, you don't have to spend hundreds of pounds you know you don't have to spend hundreds on getting you know the really posh stuff you don't even have to have an altar you can just have an altar with a plant a jar of water um a candle 
and some incense. You've got the four elements there. And that's that, you know, you can have that as just that. But you can also have um, representations of the goddess, of um, whatever deity you follow. You can have one specifically set aside for them. Um, so it's completely up to you how you want your altar and what you want to do with your altar so again for cleansing possibly a representation for air if you can't have say um incense if you can't burn incense or candles in your home because it's got really sensitive smoke detectors then a bell a little bell really clear always makes my cats jump no idea what they're up to currently but again this also has an engraving of a pentacle on it so there's there's that as well you can have that as a representation to cleanse the area to um you know you can do you can have it however you like these are just ideas of things that i have considered putting on my own altar um so this is a um it's just a a decoration but as well as having the cauldron with the pentacle on it it's also got sacred space pure and clear only good may enter here i drive away negativity as i will it so mote it be so you can have like a little protection thing and it do this does come this cat did come with a um a little sort of thing and you can have it whichever which way round you want to have it so you can have it the um rhyme or you can have the cauldron and it's completely up to you again you don't have to have this on there i'm probably just gonna put this up on a shelf and you know have done with it sorry my luna is deciding to um do things being a little booger So she's on the she's on the table altar thing. So that's again it's an idea of what can, you can put. You can put artwork on there. You can you can draw representations of say an your animal spirit, your spirit animal, sorry. Um you know, you can have a representation of that on there. For example, I've got a hair. Now I associate hair, the hair, with Diana, the goddess Diana, because I feel protected by her, but also called by her. So I'm I'm still doing research into all of that, and I will, you know, sort all of that out. But as it stands, that's that. Um, I have a set of rune stones that sit with a piece of selenite. So you can't really tell that it's selenite, but it is. It's selenite because it does the, it does that. Um, but I've got some black agate runes that sit on my altar. Um, I just choose to put them there because it's a rep representation of what got me started down this path. Um, I love using my runes. I don't use them quite as much as I want to, but I will definitely be getting back into using them more. You can have, say, a moon, something relating to the moon phase. I've got this behind me because this room is my magical space. This is where I can do all the things I want to do. But this can also double as a, um, it can hold a card of the day. So if you pull a card first thing in the morning and you want to focus on that energy for the day or you want to come back to it and meditate you know throughout the day then you can use this as a stand for it and have that on your altar so you can you know go to your 
your sacred space and and use that energy i made this lovely little witch hat i'm not entirely sure why i felt like making it but i just did and again an owl and on the back of this i put for athena who i believe is the greek version of diana so again owls um i did make these quite a while ago um so we shall see what i do with them um i did also make ah this is what i made for diana so i made a triple goddess thing and i made this because i I wanted to have a representation to her and I didn't have the hair at the time I didn't have the hair so I made this because she is considered to be a triple goddess or one of the triple goddess um, and I wanted to have this on my altar for her because I didn't put Diana on the back so this is this was for her so again it's it's a representation for her i just don't haven't you know properly walked down that path yet um you can have various tools that you use for divination say crystal ball this is i think glass yeah it's glass there's a little air bubble in there so this is glass but it can be used as a scrying tool so it did come with a stand it did Luna, sorry, my apologies. Thank you. You know you're not allowed to go in there. You're only doing it because I'm so distracted. Sorry, had to scare her out of here. She was being very, very naughty. Um, but again, you know, I could have this on my altar or I could have it sitting, you know, at my desk. I could have it anywhere else. I could put it all on a shelf. I could put all my divination tools on a shelf, which I am planning to do when I get a bookcase. Because I need to, <laughs> I've got a large pile of books that I need to organise. But again, this is a working, working progress. Um, and you don't have to have your divination tools on there. I've just chosen to do that because that's what I wanted to do. Um, I do also have a um, a skull potion bottle thing. Um, so I'm gonna. I think I've got. Um, what have I got in there? I've got lavender. So. I've got, I don't know if you can see that, I've got lavender in it. So I love lavender, always have. Um, it's a very calming, soothing smell to me. So I've, I keep that in there. Um, you know, odd to have a calming herb in a skull shaped bottle, but it, it is, it is what it is. Um, I also keep my magical, or what I call my magical jewelry in a box on there. So I've got, um, you know, crystal pendants, you know, wire wrapped, a double amethyst wire wrapped necklace. Um, I've got other things in here. I've got, you know, other things. I've got a pentagram with a crystal heart amethyst and I want to say that's black obsidian but i could be wrong but yes i've so i've got like my magical uh jewelry in there and i keep that on there because to me it helps it keep it sacred and special so i don't wear these all the time i have a separate set that i do use all the time um again i've got other crystals that i have sort of a mini altar um at my desk so i've got three pieces of lapis lazuli so i've got a 
heart shaped piece i've got a bracelet and and then i've just got a tumbled stone but i've also got a nice chunk of hematite so that all sits in a dish again it's got a pentagram on it so that all sits in there and i have the the bracelet there to represent the circle so you know it's ne it never sits in a circle but it's it's a representation of it so it's if you want to put things on your altar like you like there's so many other tools and i'll do that i'll cover that in another video as well so you can have whatever you want on your altar whether it be artwork to represent deities artwork to represent a place that is sacred to you you could have representations of spirit animals or animals that you feel are connected to a deity you know you can have anything and everything on your altar <clears throat> you don't have to have lots of things you could literally just have a candle on a shelf on a very small shelf um, in one corner and that can be that can be an altar if you want it to be an altar then it's an altar there's no right or wrong way with sort of your box standard altar it can be anything and everything if you have like a um, box shelves so if you've got those shelf units where you've got um, nine box spaces you can have the four corners as representations of the elements so you can have a plant in one you can have water in another you've you know you've got the you can have crystals in another place and incense in another you can have whatever you like on those or you you know you can put them all on one but it won't look like an altar to anyone other than you so it's a it's sort of a way to hide your craft without feeling like you're having to hide absolutely every aspect of it so there's there's no right or wrong way if you just wanted to use a windowsill use a windowsill if you want to use your desk a table do it it's completely up to you if you don't want to have an altar that's fine that doesn't make you any less of a witch if that is the label that you want to have so do what you want within your craft it's a craft we make it our own it's personal there's no right or wrong way to it so that's my advice today if you want to have an altar make your own have your own you don't have to have representations to all the elements if you only feel called to one or two only have those two on there you don't have to have them all you know you don't have to have anything on an altar you don't have to have you know you can have everything on an altar if you want to have everything on an altar but you don't have to if you want to put it in a certain place facing a certain direction do it mine faces east purely because that's where i put it it started off facing west at first but now it faces east and it will continue to face east when i relocate it but that's fine i want it to do that because it's the you know it's the direction of the sunrise i'm okay with that you know i it's, it's not something i deliberately chose it's just something that's happened so there's no right or wrong way so many people will turn around and say oh you need to have your altar facing west no you don't i have mine facing east I have yet to face any dire consequences from doing so. If I wanted to have mine facing south, I could. If I wanted to have it facing north, again, I could. But there's no right or wrong way. You know, it's, it's one of those things. You don't have to have it. But if you do want to have it, make it your own. There's no reason why anyone should tell you oh you're going to go to hell if you don't do this no no wrong completely wrong it's 
it's a craft it's personal what works for me won't work for everyone else so if you want if you don't like the energy until it faces a particular way face it that particular way there's no right or wrong with it do it how you want to have it whatever makes you feel comfortable do it so that's that's my thing for today and i will see you again next week which is an exciting one because it's the may unboxing so we'll see what's in the may witch casket um i will see you all again next week i hope you stay safe and well and blessed be all <laughs>